Hi guys, today I'm back with another chit chat, get ready with me using some new makeup. Some of it is new to me, new to the market, a couple of first impressions, some things I've been testing out behind the scenes, you know the drill. I am super excited that this video is sponsored by and in partnership with Clarins. You know I'm such a huge fan of the brand, the skincare I've been using for years and years and years. They're one of the first brands I actually ever worked with back when I lived in Newfoundland years ago. Um, but today we're going to be chatting about a new foundation and concealer from them. You know they make beautiful skincare and they had skincare in mind when it came to these products and I know that you and I both love a new foundation so let's go ahead and get started. So let's start out with the Clarins Everlasting Long Wearing and Hydrating Matte Foundation. This retails for $56 Canadian. There is a full fluid ounce in here. Yeah, a full fluid ounce, nice glass bottle so you can see your shade through it. Today I'm wearing the shade 114N Cappuccino. Right off the bat, well first of all it's got a pump, appreciate that. I'm gonna take out about two pumps. Um, but what I will say is I love how they have the, so when you go to purchase this foundation, it comes in cool, warm, and neutral. Just had to double check there. Uh, but I find that really helpful because I've realized I'm a little bit more of a neutral gal than I thought I was. So, um, it's super helpful, especially if you're buying foundations online, which I feel like you might be doing a little bit more lately. And I'm just going to blend this out with a sponge. So this is a matte finish, uh, high coverage foundation. And as you can see, wearing a mask has just been ravaging my face. And this is a foundation I pretty much wore exclusively in Newfoundland. So I've been testing it out for a little while now, even though it's pretty new. And I really like it. It definitely is super long wearing, which I really appreciate. And it's matte, but it's not flat. It's not heavy or cakey or like a mask. You know, lets your skin quote unquote breathe. Doesn't feel heavy. And when you use a sponge, you're gonna be able to, I find you get a little bit less coverage, which I like. It makes it more flexible because I don't always go for like high coverage matte foundation because sometimes high coverage matte foundations can be so heavy but this one is nice and lightweight um and it's it's I guess versatile because like I'm gonna wear a little bit maybe more medium today but you can definitely build it up if you use a uh, brush with it you're gonna get even more coverage and you can see I'm gonna go back in and not like really spot conceal but just kind of cover up a couple extra scoundrel pimples that I've got. And I'm just gonna tap that in with my fingers. Also has uh, skincare benefits which in there, which is pretty cool, some anti-pollution. Just tapping it out with my fingers because I feel like that's gonna help me get the coverage. It is just so frustrating to have breakouts. Like, it's kind of good because the mask covers them up. <laughs> but then when you're not wearing a mask, you're like, oh yeah. So you can see foundation, no foundation. Like my skin actually, like, minus the fact it's ravaged with breakouts, is like in decent condition. <laughs> That's how you know you've had acne for a long time. Okay, let me do the other side. It really is like when my skin was more clear, if I got like one pimple, it was a big deal. And now it's like, oh, I only have like 30 pimples. Great. <laughs> and this does look a little bit light, I know, but just it'll come together I promise and that this is two pumps and they're quite small pumps so you do not need to use a lot I find the foundation warms up over time so I really like this 114 N shade because um, I'm I used to tend to go really yellow in my foundations or really really golden but this is like a great neutral shade because I'm kind of more of a golden peachy I've determined and take just a smidgen and do the same thing on some of these pimples here because I don't quote unquote need foundation all over my face. That's a good way to make your foundation look a little bit more natural. And like you can see, there's still some glow to my skin. It's not completely fat, like flat and mask-like. So you kind of get the benefits of a long wear, full coverage matte foundation without that kind of downside that can come sometimes. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on the concealer. I love this concealer. I'm wearing this in the shade 03 Medium Deep, and it retails for $36. It's a decent size, too. 0.4 ounces in here. So this will last you quite a while, and I really love this shade. I really love it a lot. Again, it's like a little bit um, more neutral. It's just a really great shade. 
and as usual I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin it's a really good shade for me to like highlight slash conceal it's definitely brighter than my skin but when I blend it in again trust the process under my eyes with my fingers you know how I do um, and this concealer has horse chestnut in it, which I've never heard of before. Um, but that's one of the kind of skincare benefit ingredients in there, which helps with puffiness, which is cool. I'm just going to blend out the edges. It's a really um, soft looking concealer under the eyes. The foundation too, I feel like it looks really soft, kind of blurring. I love that soft look over like matte. You still want it to look like skin. So I will have both of these products linked down below, of course. And if you are my shade, but maybe like a little bit more tan than me, the next shade up, which is, cause I've been trying this out for a little while. I tried out a couple of different shades. Uh, 115.5 W Coffee is a good one as well. Um, I've tried them both, but I kind of settled on the cappuccino over the coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get into the rest of my makeup. This isn't really new, Pat McGrath under eye powder, but I haven't reached for it in a while, so I figured I would use it. I don't really have a new under eye powder, but I do have a new face powder. I don't know if you can hear Emily drinking in the background. She's <laughs> the loudest drinker and eater. So my problem is with these powders, so I have the new Essence My Skin Perfecting Loose Instant Blur Powders. Believe it or not, they're quite deep in shade. So this is 20 nude and this is 30 medium but I think medium might be too dark. So I'm gonna actually mix them together because I wanna film another video after this and I don't want this makeup to go awry, you know? So I will continue to test both those powders out, but for safety's sake today, I'm going to blend them together. They also have a tinted primer, which I forgot about. I'll maybe use that in another video because I had a question about that. I don't know what the point of a tinted primer is though. Like, does it add just a little coverage underneath? I need to look into that. This powder looks really good actually with these, with this foundation and concealer. Looks really smooth. It's like quite matte, but again, not flat. They look good together. If you have um, normal skin, I would say the Clarins, you might not even need to set. It has a really nice finish, but you know me, I set everything. I'm gonna move you in for the eyes now and I fully regret not tweezing my eyebrows, so just Bear with me. Let me check Instagram because I asked you what palette I should use for my eyes and what mascara. Okay, mascara overwhelmingly is NARS at 71%. And then, oh, it got closer. Urban Decay versus NARS for the palette and Urban Decay 1. The stoned palette, which is so pretty. Okay, let me move you in. I'm sorry. You're not too close. I'm gonna use that Clarins concealer again just to set my set my eyes or like kind of as a primer. That's what I normally do. As long as the concealer, like this is a concealer that's on the more natural matte side, it has good coverage, so it acts as a great primer. It's just so much easier when you have that there in front of you, you know? So this palette is super pretty can see the shades there. So I'm probably gonna go greens. If you're curious about my hair today, today is a pretty much productless day. I put a little bit of protein cream in the front bits. So they're the bits that have the most damage, but otherwise no product. Back on the no product life. Okay, taking the darker brown. And when I say no product, I mean it. So people are like, did you use a leave-in? <laughs> like, nah, be nothing in here. I think I said this, what video did I work on with Clarence a while back? I think it was something skincare related, but I think I said it in that video, but I'll say it again. I think they were the first brand to ever send me PR in Newfoundland when I had like a thousand or two thousand subscribers. And they were also the first brand that I ever went to like a press event for. And I just have the fondest memories. And ended up falling in love with the product too, of course, but um, the scent of the night cream was how they had scented the room at the event and every time I smell it just brings me back to like, to, ah, jabbed myself, brings me back to 2016. <laughs> and just, I don't know, I really miss going to events and stuff now. Okay, gonna take the Jade shade. Ooh, wow. That is really something. 
And I have no extra concealer or anything down. I, um, the concealer had pretty much set. Ooh, so sparkly. I love green on the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of the... So I used Jade, and now I'm going to use Bloodstone. A little bit deeper. It's kind of one of those, like, blue-browns. I think I'm mostly just going to use my fingers. Wow, I'm excited to keep using this palette. I honestly was not that excited about it. I don't know why. But I'm bringing it up pretty high. Because I find when I close my eyes, you can't see what I've put on them, so. <laughs> I do wish this had like a little bit of a lighter shade that I could use on my inner corner. Do I risk it? Popped on a little bit of liquid liner. Now I'm going to use the mascara you voted for. This is the NARS Climax Extreme. So they already have the Climax, and I really like that one. This one's good too. Super black, tons of volume and length. Like, look at that. I barely even put any on. I honestly don't know how it differs to the Climax. I haven't used that one in a while. But as an individual, it looks great. Holy. Now on to bronzer. This isn't really new, but it's newer to me. It's from e.l.f. and Constantly Bronzed. Is this one of their primer infused? Or is that just the blushes? Oh, as usual, I forgot to use my cream blush. I'll use it over my powder. It's impossible to remember. Is it just me? Like, why every time I go to use a freaking cream blush, I forget. So you can see now, like, the foundation shade has warmed up a little bit with the bronzer. It's coming together. Stick these browsies in place. How's everybody feeling? I know that's a loaded question nowadays. Tell me um, something good that's happened below in the comments. I've been doing that on Instagram lately, and it can be anything. It can be like, I don't know. Spend a little time with your cat to, like, anything. For me, something good is that... What's something good? I had a really good cuddle with Rue today. And now I'm drinking some tea. And now I'm hoping that this cream blush works over powder. This is one of the Quo blushes, and I will get to reviewing this, I promise. This is Quo um, in Heavenly 66. This shade's actually really pretty too. Mmm, pure 59. This one almost kind of looks browny. Do I mix them? Ooh, yeah, let's mix. That's an interesting shade. These are pretty. Feel really creamy. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see how they work over powder. I think well. It's never my intent, but... <laughs> It's not like lifting it or anything. I'm still gonna put over a powder blush though. For my powder blush from Clarins, I'm gonna use this Jolie blush in the shade Cheeky Pink, which I dropped on the floor right before this and it survived. Really pretty kind of neutrally pink, not too peachy. Ooh, lots of pigment where I put it over that cream blush. <laughs> not to worry. I'm gonna go kind of nude on the lips so I don't mind a bright cheek. For highlighter, this is a really pretty palette from Smashbox for the holidays, the Halo Cheek palette. It has two highlighters and two blushes, although the blushes are really not blushy to me, but I'm gonna use this highlighter right here. I love that the packaging is kind of clear. These look like really kind of sparkly highlighters. And I've got tons of texture, so great. Let me just highlight all of my pimples. <laughs> Ooh, it's beaming though. Glow, pimples, glow. Show yourself. Ooh, very pretty. Definitely a little bit jarring with my skin and the condition that it's in, but here we are. And I gotta say, like, that Clarins foundation, my skin is not good right now. Texture, acne, active acne, acne scars. Uh, it's endless as I smile. <laughs> uh, but it does look really soft on the skin, like I said. I'm gonna set my face with the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air. I've talked about this before. 
really, really good. Okay, I just tried a lip combo and it didn't work. And I realized I didn't put anything in my inner corner. So I'm just taking the shade I used to highlight with and popping that in the inner corner. Okay, um, I think I figured it out. <laughs> so I'm going to put on two of these MAC Powder Cut Kiss lipsticks in Over the Taupe and Date Maker. I think it's going to be more my what I was going for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Already better. So this one is Over the Taupe. Mm -hmm. Cute name. Then, date maker in the center. Oh yeah. So here's the finished look. Be sure to check out the new Everlasting Foundation and Concealer. I will have them linked down below if you would like to learn more. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!